Greetings and welcome back. If you're currently viewing this video, it's likely that you're considering choosing an HMA plan for yourself. The purpose of this final video is to assist you in making an informed decision on selecting the correct product. I also am going to highlight some certain limitations of the HMA that are in place to safeguard the integrity of this product. However, it's important to note that the benefits far exceed any perceived drawbacks by a significant margin. Before we jump into things, I'd just like to address the elephant in the room. The most common question I hear is, how are you able to do it? How does this plan give people the benefit and the value that it does? And it operates on a lot of the same principles that insurance businesses operate. They employ the principle of risk pooling, so all funds are consolidated into a single large pool and claims are paid out from there. By working with an actuarial firm, we ensure that our program adheres to all accepted business practices and operates within all established parameters. One essential tool that's utilized is a process called claims frequency analysis. These studies provide insight into the frequency at which individuals file claims. And it's worth noting that significant claims typically arise approximately once every three years, which was a key factor influencing the company's decision to offer a 35 month plan. And just as a point of edification, I've added this Wikipedia article because this man has written a couple of articles expressing his optimism about the health matching account. To be sure, this guy is no lightweight. He's the president and CEO of the Goodman Institute for Public Policy. He founded the National Center for Policy Analysis, which is a think tank that was the source of things like HSAs, Roth IRAs, auto-enrolling uh, employees into 401k plans, and allowing senior citizens to continue working without penalty after receiving Social Security benefits. So this man's very well respected in the academic and policymaking world. These are the two articles that John Goodman has written about the health matching account. And if you're interested in obtaining complete copies, please don't hesitate to ask. John Goodman perceives the health matching account as an empowering program that grants patients greater control and satisfaction in managing their health care. He also discusses the concept of adverse selection, which the HMA remains insulated from. This refers to the tendency of higher risk individuals who are not as healthy being more inclined to purchase insurance compared to lower risk or healthier individuals. Consequently, the individuals who are most concerned about lower deductibles are typically the ones most likely to file substantial claims, resulting in higher premiums for everyone in that deductible range. However, with the HMA, there's a unique opportunity to eventually increase your deductible to reduce your premiums thanks to the offsetting effect of the crediting system. So this is the good news, bad news page, and I put this here in good faith to show you a few things the company has had to address. Some people consider these things constraints, but we all know that financial products are targets for people with less than honorable intentions. So I do believe in full disclosure to ensure that you're aware of everything. I would suggest you just pause this page and read the columns. They're very self-explanatory. But again, I just want you to be aware of these things. So if you haven't seen them before, here's a truncated list of what is covered. But in short, if there's a doctor involved, it's covered. LASIK, plastic surgery, cataract surgery, fertility procedures, birth-related medical expenses, ambulance fees, counseling with a psychologist or a psychiatrist, prescriptions, all hospital bills and hospital equipment, lag work of all kinds, imaging, x-rays like CT scans, MRIs, PET scans, all your dental work, caps, implants, root canals, crowns, vision care, glasses and contacts and all the testing and all of your prosthetic devices all covered by the HMA. One aspect that captures the interest of many individuals is is exploring alternative medicines and treatments with this plan. However, it's important to note that this plan strictly adheres to medical guidelines, modalities such as acupuncture, massage, and non-MD practitioners are not recognized or covered under this plan. 
All submitted expenses are subject to IRS Code 213D expenses, which aligns with the regulations governing FSAs and HSAs ensuring compliance. Of course, everyone who enrolls into the plan will have access to their accounts via web browser or the HMA mobile app to watch their accounts grow. This chart is what helped me make my final decision as to which HMA plan I selected. I actually wanted the $20,000 plan, but I was more comfortable with a lower monthly contribution of $198 rather than the $251 per month. And I was happy with the matching percentage at that level. In my opinion, the sweet spot for this program is from the $10,000 to $25,000 plans. And I know others who have lower and higher, but again, that's just my opinion. This screen here is just a quick shot of a credit card statement to let you see even after three years on March 2nd when I got my $705 credit into my account that I only gave them $198 on my credit card. So I have something of a tendency to overcomplicate this, but I think the simple way of putting it is if you are single, the monthly contributions you see on this page are exactly what you will give every month into your plan. If you are married and have a spouse that you would like covered, you would add $5 for the spouse. Or if you're a single parent with one child, one child, you will add $5. However, if you're married and have one child or married with 25 kids, it would be $5 additional for the spouse and $10 for the one or 25 children. It doesn't matter how many kids on it. And that would be your monthly contribution. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, and it's a real great value in being able to add all of your family members onto the plan. So when you go to the enrollment page at healthmaverick.com, you will see the green buttons on the right for whichever plan you wish to select. Please remember, you can always go up in plan, but you can only go down after 24 months. So please keep that in mind. Well, we have come to the final slide. And if you still have questions, please call. I will be happy to take your call, address any concerns regarding the suitability and performance of the program and how it's going to affect you and your family. I believe in this thing 110%. You can reach me at 201-314-5514. I live in Broward County, right near the Palm Beach County borderline in Florida. And I will visit with you in this region if you really need that help. I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, just reach out to me by phone or by email. I assure you a response in a timely fashion. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.